Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will teach you how to write short and if you want to know, stay tuned. shorthand o yung tinatawag natin steno. So, good news for you. This video will give you a series of teaching on how to write shorthand. So, if you want to know, if you want to learn, just uh, be updated to my videos, of course. Subscribe my channel and click the notification bell so that you will be informed to all my videos. So, first of all, we need to have our orientation. Huwag ka muna magbadali. Huwag excited. So, mag-orient lang muna ako. Okay, saan nga ba ginagamit yung shorthand? So, ginagamit ang shorthand, una sa court, yan, as a court stenographer, you are writing dictation, pwede rin sa office, during minutes of the meeting, take down notes, lahat ng sasabi, sa, sa meeting, nakasulat, for documentation purposes. And even sa sarili mo, kapag magsusulat ka, you want to journal, o kaya na gusto mo na magsulat ka, hindi nababasa ng ibang tao, so we can use shorthand, okay? So, another thing, if you want to learn this, kailangan mo na mabang pansensya, and of course, understanding. And pangatlo, si syempre, yung sharp mind, dahil wag na wag mo kakalimutan yung mga itinuro sa una, sa pangalawa, pangatlo, and even to all series kasi magkaka-connect yan sa isa't isa. So, don't worry, kaya yan, matututunan yan. Okay, so disclaimer lang, hindi ko sinasabi na magaling ako, hindi ko sinasabi na magmamarunong ako dito. I just want to impart with you my knowledge about this skill. So, if you want to know, stay tuned and watch all the video series na i-upload ko and I'm hope na ma-unawaan nyo. Okay, so for the meantime, since this will be parang online class, um, disadvantage lang, limited. Okay, so hindi ko kayo agad, ma, hindi ko agad malalaman yung mga tanong nyo, pero ang advice ko lang din sa inyo, hindi nyo pa kasi agad sa malalaman. Sa unang lesson pa lang. So just keep on listening and applying kung ano yung tinuro sa inyo as is. Yun lang muna yung gagawin natin, okay? So, abang tumatagal, dun yung mauunawan, ah, ganun pala, okay? So, if you want to know, and if you have just in case question, you can have the comment below, okay? Para mabasa ko, at for the next video, pwede ko rin ma-explain. So, let's start with our first lesson. Enjoy! Hey guys, so, magkakaroon tayo ng actual writing about shorthand. So, first of all, ito yung book na gagamitin natin. Greg Shorthand for College, Volume 1. So, um, andito lahat ng mga series of topics. So, explain natin to. Pangalawa naman, ito yung notebook na gagamitin natin. Ang tawag dito is um, Steno Notebook. So, it is designed for stenographers talaga kasi may purpose ito sa writing. So, kaya yung spiral niya nandito sa taas para hindi siya destruction sa bawat gilid just in case left or right-handed ka. So, just in case na um, nagkakaroon na tayo ng dictation, mabilis ang sulat mo. Less destruction dito sa bawat gilid. Another thing, it is divided into two. So, merong red line dito sa gitna. Ang purpose niyan is that we need to start from left up to the middle part. Huwag kang lalagpas dito sa line, then next dito sa pangalawang linya ulit. So, ang purpose nun, kapag nagsusulat ka, mabilis mong mamove yung kamay mo. So, it takes time kapag ang haba tapos yung paglipat mo, ganun. So, lahat yan may purpose. Kaya, yung subject na to, lahat to is about speed and writing. Pabili sa magsulat. Okay. So, just in case wala pa kayong stand notebook, it's okay. So, let's start with our lesson. So, by the way, hindi to katulad ng letter alphabet natin na magsisimula tayo sa A, B, F, to Z. No, we will base on the strokes per letter. So, dun tayo magbabase. So, for the first set of our lesson, i-discuss ko sa inyo. And commonly, magkakamukha sila, but it differ only sa shape at saka sa size. Okay? So, another reminder that in short time, we will spell out or we will write every word by the sound or by what we hear. So, we will not include letters that are silent in the pronunciation of the word. Okay, clear? So, ibig sabihin, hindi natin i-include lahat ng letter na letter sa longhand o yung ordinary writing. We will only include what we hear sa pronunciation. So, malalaman yan as we go to our lesson. Okay, so kung mapapansin nyo, nandito ako agad sa lesson 2. Para lang mabilis natin makita yung preview lesson about lesson 1. So, these are the, the strokes that we will um, discuss. So, ayan yung itsura niya. So, I will write here. Medyo struggle lang, no? Talagang hinahawakan ko yung camera at the same time nagsusulat ako. So, let's start with this stroke. So, kung mapapansin natin, para magkakamukha sila, but nagkakaiba lang sila sa size and sa shape. So, let's start with this stroke. So, short, slant, straight. It is letter T. Okay? Lalagyan ko ng transcription sa baba. Letter T. Yung mahaba naman na slant, straight, 
stroke ay letter D. Okay? Slant. Ayan, ito pala. So, for letter T, short, slant, straight, stroke. Pag letter D naman, mahaba. Okay? Next letter, next set of letter is straight, short, line. Kanina pa slant, ito straight. So, yung short line straight na yan is letter N. And yung isa naman, mahaba. Ayan, medyo <laughs> nangangarag lang kasi nawakap ko rin yung cellphone. This is letter M. Okay? So, this is letter N, this is letter M, this is letter T, this is letter D. Okay, next is, eto. Para siyang kama. Ayan. So, dapat dito nyo rin siya isusulat sa line na to. Hindi pwedeng sa gitna nitong... Uh, sa gitna nito o sa taas, hindi pwede kailangan sa baba, okay? This is letter S. Yung medyo ma ma medium size, yan. This is letter F. Yung mas mahaba from the top up to bottom part, this is letter V. Victory. Ayan. So, ayan. Marami na tayong letter. And last set is, eto. These are the consonant. First set of consonant. So, let's start with vowels. First set of vowels. We have letter A. O, ang A naman is represented by um, big circle. Hindi siya totally circle pero parang nakaslant. Ayan. A. Medyo parang medium size lang siya nung laki nung line ng notebook natin. So, this is letter A. Tapos, yung maliit naman na shape. Ayan, this is letter E. Okay, so we have now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 letters sa tayo. So, kailangan nyo lang tandaan, eto mga strokes or yung mga symbols na to. This represents letter. And of course, yung sound sa word natin. So, sige. You can post this video para ma- para ma-memorize nyo yung bawat part. Okay. So, sige, let's have our activity agad. So, ayan. So, application lang. Activity tayo agad. So, gagawa ako dito ng mga, kanina, di ba, nags, oh, kanina, di ba, sinulat ko kung ano yung mga, mga stroke, symbol, uh, shorthand stroke and letter, per letter. So, ngayon, magsusulat ako. Tapos, habang nanonood kayo, identify what letter yung isusulat ko. Okay? Pabilisan, ha? Siyempre, kayo nabahala dyan kung al na nasusundan nyo. Okay, so let's start. Try to answer. What, what letter is this? Yes, this is letter F. What letter is this? Letter D. Okay. So, very good. Kung tama ka. <laughs> okay, what letter is this? Okay, letter S. What letter is this? Oops, medyo next slant. Ulitin ko. What letter is this? Yes, letter M. What letter is this? Okay, letter A. What letter is this? Okay, letter T. And what letter is this? Okay, letter E. How about this one? Okay, letter N. So, kailangan nyo ma-memorize yan without this um, transcription. So, I advise you, huwag kayo laging babasa sa ano, sa transcription o masasanay kayo na merong letter sa baba. Kasi parang hindi rin kayo ganun, hindi na nag, nag sink in o nare-retain yung information. So, as much as possible, tandaan nyo na yan. Pag ito nakita nyo, it is letter F. Pag ito letter D, ito letter S, letter N, this is letter M, this is letter A, this is letter T, this is letter E. Without transcription or yung longhand. Longhand ang tawag natin sa mga letter na yan. So, itong mga symbol na to, these are the shorthand. Okay. So, let's try now. Okay. So, this time, let's try now to construct word. Oh, excited na kayo, ha? Baka nandito na yung pangalan nyo. So, let's try now to construct a word using the letter included sa first lesson natin. So, remember, we will spell only what we hear. We will not include letters that are not necessary. So, example lang muna tayo. Example lang muna tayo, ha? Okay. In the word face, what are the sounds you hear? Face. We hear only le F. We hear letter F. Face. A. N. Face. The sound of S. 
hindi natin narinig yung sound ng e, ng C at saka ng E. Hindi hindi sinabing fase. We hear phase. So we will only spell what we hear. So applying to the strokes na sinulat natin kanina with the letter F, A and S represent representative um, symbols of shorthand. Paano natin siya isusulat ngayon? So letter F is represented by this one, letter A and letter S. So pag pinag-combine natin yan, we will start with the first letter F. This letter F. This letter A. This letter S. So we have now face. Medyo ulitin ko. F A S. Face. Okay. So this is now the short hand of the word face. Another thing. The word stay. What are the letters you hear in the word stay? S T A. Correct. So, kasi we pronounce the letter A as A. Diba? We have the short sound, soft and soft and hard sound of A. So, stay is only S-T-A. Stay. So, it is represented by S, T, and A. So, pag pinagsama-sama natin yan, is stay. Okay. So, this is the word stay. So, baka may tanong kayo, Ate Maika, pwede bang baliktad yan? For example, S, T, tas yung A nandito sa taas. I discourage you, mali, wag. This is the only way on how we will write. Kasi magugulan kayo pag tinanong nyo pa yan. Dahil malalaman nyo pa yun sa mga previous lessons natin. So, for the meantime, kung ano yung tinuro sa inyo, yun lang yung proper way on how you will write the stroke. Another example, the word same. The word same. What are the letters you hear? We hear the sound of S A M. Same. So in shorthand, we will write same as this. Okay, same. Okay, ano maganyan? Hindi mahirap magsulat. Ayan. Ayan, so same. Ito yung S, yung parang quit. Andito na yung A, yung M. So that's the way on how we will write. Huwag nyong gagawin na ganito ah. Tapos bila kayo na ganun. Nako, mali yan. Mali yan. Hindi drawing class ito. Okay, this is writing. So we are connecting strokes together. Okay, so another example. Ano pa pwede natin example? For example, the word ni. Tuhod. What are the letters you hear? Ni. Okay. It is only letter N, E. So in short, and what's the what's the symbol of N? Short line and E is ganito. So pag pinag-combine niyan, ganito lang yan, ni. Okay. Ni. This is ni. Yan. Kasi yan nga, ang purpose ng shorthand, pinapaiksi natin yung mga word. Sobrang maiksi. Kaya, we omit the unnecessary letters. Okay, so I will give you now activities and try to post, pause this video. So, um, don't cheat. Siyempre, kung gusto mo matuto, you will answer this. Then, if may sagot ka na, you can continue to know the answer. Okay ba yun? Okay, so I will just write. Okay, so let's try to answer based dun sa sagot nyo. Okay lang magkamali, at least you try. So, let's start to combine these strokes. This word, so let's try to combine this letter, the strokes together. So, first word is aid. Aid. So, what are the letters we hear? A and D alone. A, D. So, A is represented by A, D. Okay, that is aid. So, if you write this way, wrong. Mali po. So, this is the proper way of writing it. So, ito lang po yung tama. Okay, next is the word day. Parang actually, binaligtad lang pala, no? The word day. So, the word day, what are the letters we hear? D, N, A alone. So, this, therefore, D, A. This, this, this is day. Okay, next is the word meet. The word meet, it is also applicable with this spelling, M-E-A-T. Meet. As long as the same pronunciation, meron din siyang same stroke. Okay? For this lesson, ha, huwag muna natin masyadong ibabroad. Okay, so meet, we hear the word M, 
E me T meat. So therefore, this is how we write meat. M E T meat. Okay. Pero pwede mo rin siyang basahin as met. Okay? Pwede mo rin siyang basahin yung met naman na word. Kasi meron tayong short at saka long sound, soft and hard soft and hard sound of vowels. Okay? Ilan na score mo? Next letter, uh, number four, the word vein. Medyo malabo ba? Ayan, the word vein. So, vein is a long stroke of vein. Ayan. So, pwede rin siyang ganito, vein. V-A-N. Nahira pala ako magsulat kasi ako kayo isang phone. So, that's how the proper uh, word of vein. So, even yung pagsusulat, kailangan pinapractice. It takes also more practice para gumanda yung uh, natin writing. Next is the word main. Main is uh, represented by M-A-N. Main. M-A-N. Main. So, ito po ang stroke ng main. Pero, pwede mo rin siyang basahin as man. Yes, same stroke din siya, man. Main or man. Next, did. So, we have a long... Ayan long. Basta you can identify the difference between T and D, it's enough. Basta mas mahaba yung D. Yung did na rin yan, yung D-I-D, uh, huh? pwede rin dyan. Pero kasi may tinatawag tayo mga brief form. So, ibang topic yun. Okay? Next is save. Yung save natin is S-A-V lang, no? Without E. Save. So, baka hindi ko lang kayo ganun na advice, pero this is how we will write save. Mag-start tayo sa taas kasi yung mga sumunod na letter I, mahahaba. Okay? Nasa taas. I mean, i-adjust lang natin. So, this is save. Ayan. So, the proper way of writing save. Hindi pwede yung... Hindi pwede. Why? Kasi, pag may mga ganyan stroke, kunyari, may tendency na naiiba na yung word niya. Yes, every stroke, every curvature dito ay meron na agad meaning or meron ng sound or letter. Kaya, this is only the way on how we will write save. Next, Tim. Okay. Letters we hear is T-E-M, team. Hindi, tem, ha? Yung E. A, 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 E. Ayan. A, E, I, O, U. So, team is T-E-M. So, siguro may nagsulat sa inyo na ganito, T-E-M. Ayan. So, mukhang tama. Pwede naman, di ba? Pero mali siya. This is only the way on how we will write. So, pag tinanong nyo bakit, maguguluhan lang kayo. Basta sumunod kayo, ito lang yun. Okay? <laughs> Okay, number nine, the word may. Ilan na kaya yung point niya? May, we only hear M-A. So, we have M-A. Ayan, may. Ulit, may. Oops. May, ano. Ayan, so, M-A lang. M-A, yan. Okay, and last is the word neat. Neat, pwede rin yung neat na ganito. Same pronunciation. So, we will, letters we include N-E-T, neat. Okay, so N E T net. We can also read this as net, kasi yung soft sound eh. Okay, yung isang sound naman A A E. Okay, English. Cari yung parang tagalog na eh net. So net net. Eto yung spelling yung N E T. Okay, so if you got ah perfect then very good. So kahit na hindi mo na perfect yan, you're still very good because may natutunan ka sa araw na to. So, that's all for our lesson. Grabe, ang hirap pala niya i-shoot. So, I hope na talaga matyaga natin bawat series ng lesson na to. So, God bless and uh, stay safe everyone. Bye-bye.